You may not be familiar with the Cop Glass name, but you are most likely familiar with Cop Glass products. From a humble beginning more than 80 years ago, as a manufacturer of red glass for railroad signals, Cop now claims to be the world's leading producer of precision molded industrial quality glass. The company is known worldwide as a producer of molded borosilicate glass, a tough material that withstands harsh industrial environments and resists degradation from sunlight and weathering. The company offers more than 300 standard glass compositions, plus custom formulations in any color. The glass is used in applications such as airport and aircraft lighting, medical device illumination, architectural lighting, theatrical lighting, and railroad and traffic signals. COP produces its glass in small batches, typically from 100 to 1,000 pieces. The powdered ingredients are mixed, melted in a pot furnace, and then molded by skilled craftsmen, says David Pungratz, the company's mix and melt manager. All of our products are made by hand, and our mixer is a vital part of our operation. A batch contains anywhere from 5 to 15 ingredients, and they must be thoroughly mixed to guarantee product quality. COP uses a rotary batch mixer made by Munson Machinery. It replaced a rotary pan mixer that had been in the plant for many years. The rotary mixer is a horizontal rotating drum that is supported on either end by trunnion rings and driven by rollers powered by a five horsepower motor. It has a stationary inlet at one end and a stationary outlet with a discharge gate at the other end. Mixing flights or baffles tumble the batch in a multi-directional manner. Sand accounts for 60 to 75 percent of a formulation and is delivered in tanker trucks. Borax, metal oxides, and other ingredients arrive in bags, drums, or barrels. The ingredients are loaded into a large rectangular hopper that is set on load cells. Sand from the silo is fed to the hopper by a screw conveyor. When the amount of sand reaches the preset weight, an operator manually shuts off the conveyor. Other major ingredients are added manually. Finally, the minor ingredients, which are pre-weighed, are introduced into the batch. When the batch is complete, the hopper is hoisted above the mixer and lowered so that the flange of a discharge valve at the bottom of the hopper rests on a rubber seal at the mixer's inlet. The valve is then opened, allowing material to flow into the mixer. The mixer has a capacity of 10 cubic feet, or 1,500 pounds. The liner and other contact surfaces in the rotary mixer are made of abrasion-resistant steel, designed to withstand the abrasive mixture, particularly sand. Mixing times are only about five minutes, less than half the time required by the pan mixer. The machine's slow tumbling action, aided by the baffles, makes for a homogeneous mix. We make the best hand-pressed glass in the world with minimal defects, so our standards are very high. Mixed batches are discharged into either of two furnaces, one with a capacity of 16 melting pots and the other with 12. Most of the pots have a glass capacity of 2,500 pounds. The furnace operates at 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit, but the temperature of each pot can be set anywhere between 2,000 and 2,500 degrees. When a batch of glass is ready, the pot is opened and cooled to a working temperature. Then the glass is cast in stainless steel or cast iron molds. Each piece is made by skilled craftsmen who gather the correct amount of glass needed for the piece. Using a punty, a steel rod that has a clay ball on one end, the gatherer touches the molten glass and turns it to gather glass on the clay ball. The glass is then released into the mold. Meanwhile, the mixer provides a continual supply of mixed glass ingredients to the furnaces. As soon as one batch has been discharged, the machine is cleaned and readied for the next batch. The machine processes 10 to 20 batches per day typically of several different colors, so it is important to avoid residue from one batch to another. Cross-contamination has not been a problem with the rotary mixer because virtually all the material is rapidly discharged, leaving minimal residue, and cleaning takes only about 10 minutes using a vacuum. A door on the side of the mixer provides full access to the interior. A second vacuum system removes any airborne dust the results from the cleaning operation. However, in contrast with the pan mixer, the rotary mixer generates very little dust. This was a big selling factor for us. The rotary machine is also extremely quiet, while the pan mixer was very noisy. The mixer is essentially maintenance free. We have just to grease a couple of fittings about every two weeks. In the six years we've owned the mixer, We've not seen anywhere to the liner and re have replaced only one seal, which took less than one hour. The Munson Rotary Mixer has exceeded our expectations.